The question does not give us much to go on, just main purpose of the text, so just read the text, see what it says. Um, the following text is adapted from Gene Webster's 1912 novel, Daddy Long Legs. The narrator is a young college student writing letters detailing her weekly experiences. The college is organizing the freshman basketball team, and there's just a chance that I shall make it. I'm little, of course, but terribly quick and wiry and tough. While the others are hopping about in the air, I can dodge under their feet and grab the ball. So this seems pretty positive to me for just doing some dumb com uh, dumb summaries because, um, you know, she's, she's little, but she's quick, wiry, tough, you know, I can dodge under the feet. So it sounds like she's kind of optimistic, you know, and she even says, uh, I shall make it. I, uh, there's a chance I shall make it. Um, so let's take a look. I don't know what my own dumb summary of this is. It's just her saying why she might make the team. I don't know. Uh, to compare basketball with other sports. Well, of course, they don't talk about other sports, so we can get rid of that choice pretty confidently. B, to provide details of how to play basketball. Well, no. I mean, I guess she does talk about dodging and hopping, but that's not like the rules of basketball. So no. Did did they say how to play here? Is this an instruction manual? Absolutely not. C. To state how players will be chosen for the basketball team. Well, it maybe says why she may be chosen herself, but it's not talking about other players. It's not talking about the, the qualities that the coach is looking for. So I, I would say this is maybe second best. It's still wrong, but I, I get why people might be more drawn to this than the other two. But look at D. To explain why why the narrator thinks she might make the basketball team. Well, let's turn that into a question. Why would the narrator think she might make the baseball team, right? So what's the reason? Well, she's wiry and tough and quick. She can dodge under people's feet and grab the ball, right? Notice how when you turn the answer into the question, it becomes easy to answer that question. That's that's you finding evidence for that answer choice. Now that might seem really obvious and easy on this question. This isn't particularly hard, but I think that's a very useful skill that we need for all sorts of reading questions, including some very hard ones. So get in that habit of like, if you wanna justify a choice, see if you can turn it into a question and then see if you can answer that question by just pointing to something in the passage, right? Not coming up with your own reasoning, but pointing to lines in the passage. That's a really good sign that you have the evidence you need to pick that choice and be 100% correct.